Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Lucchese and I'm a librarian at the University of Southern Maine and I'm just going to take a few minutes to show you how to record a session, uh, a video using Zoom, um, if you would like to record your Thinking Matters session that way. So unfortunately there's no good way for me to show you live how to do the different controls with Zoom. Um, I can screen share anything with you except Zoom itself. Um, so what I've done is taken some screenshots of all the different steps you would take and then I put those into a PowerPoint. So what I'll do is um, share the screen with you with the PowerPoint on it and walk you through the different steps that way. So I'm gonna share my screen with you right now. Um, and you should shortly see the PowerPoint that I've made up. Um, and then I will go through the steps that way with you. I'm also going to, um, I'm also going to share this as a PDF. Um, so you have all the screenshots available um, without watching the video all over again. So um, it's, it's fairly easy to record with Zoom. There's just a few steps to take um, to set yourself up ahead of time. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into your MyUSM. Um, and Zoom is one of the things that's on that launch pad on the left-hand side of your um, MyUSM portal. So you can log into MyUSM, click on the Zoom link, um, and then that will open this um, Zoom landing page for you. And what you'll want to do is click on host. So hosting will just automatically start a, a Zoom session. Um, and what you're basically doing when you're recording a, a video with Zoom is having a meeting with only yourself in it and then recording that. So that host button will open up a meeting that only you are in. Um, and then you can record from there just like I'm doing right now. This is how I, I set up this video that I'm recording right now. So once you've clicked host, you'll go through all the normal process of getting into Zoom and getting everything all set up um, in, in Zoom. And then the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you get in there is to test out your audio. Um, I've, I've done it before where I record an entire video and then go back and realize that it was the wrong microphone that was selected, that's no fun at all. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is test your audio. And so the uh, the, um, link to test your audio is under this up caret next to the mute button. So when you click on this up caret, then it brings up this menu and what you'll want to do then is test your speaker and, and microphone. So that will then um, help you select the right speaker and, and microphone that will record the audio to your session. So once you're all ready, you know what you're gonna say, you have your script, you know what you're gonna to show for your visuals, um, you can go ahead and hit record and you'll want to select record on this computer. So the record button is another one of the, the controls down in, in that bottom tray of your Zoom meeting. So when you click record, it will pop up with these two options and you'll wanna click record on this computer. Now, when it comes to sharing your screen, there's that you you will most likely when you're recording your video for um, for Thinking Matters, you'll have some other visuals that you want to show besides just a, a video of your face talking. So you may want to, to have a PowerPoint like I'm doing right now, or you may have some other things that that you want to share. So the the share screen button is down in the bottom tray of the Zoom controls. When you click on the share screen button, what comes up is this white panel that I have shown here. This white panel shows everything that you have open as a program, plus this whiteboard and then an option for iPhone, iPad integration. This shows up no matter whether you have an iPhone or iPad hooked up or not. I don't have any one of those things ever hooked up and that just always shows up. So whiteboard and iPhone, iPad will always be there. And then any of the other windows shown will be the different programs that you have open and the things that you can share. I highly, highly recommend before you start recording your session to really pare down on the programs that you have open. Um, you can even, you can close down the, the internet entirely if you want to, um, or if you wanna show something from a web page, make sure that you have the minimal number of tabs open, um, and then just have up any, any other program that you wanna show, like a PowerPoint, but nothing else. Um, it can get really confusing if you have a lot of programs open or a lot of tabs open um, when you bring up this screen sharing 
thing um, and you have to kind of poke around finding what it is that you want to share. So just to save yourself some um, some time and some kind of messing around once you hit sharing your screen, um, you want to make sure that the only things you have open ahead of time um, are the, the things that you want to share. Um, if you do want to play a video as part of your presentation, you can definitely do that. Um, what you'll have to do um, so that people can hear the sound of the video, there are a couple different options down here, two things to check. There's share computer sound and optimize screen sharing for video clip. So if you are planning on playing a video clip as part of your presentation, make sure that you check off those two things before you, um, before you share that video clip. So once you share your screen, then um, what will be recorded is whatever is on the, the screen share that you're doing, plus whatever you are saying as part of your, um, as part of your presentation. So you'll progress through everything that you want to show. If you are doing a PowerPoint, you'll just advance through the slides the way that I'm doing here. Um, or if you want to show other content, you know, you'll just kind of make your way through that um, and, and narrating according to your script as you go. Once you're finished with your presentation, um, this stop share button is going to be all the way up at the top of your screen. So whenever you're sharing your screen, you see this little um, top bar along the top of your screen that lets you um, stop your share if when, once you're ready to stop sharing. It will also let you, you noticed a couple times that I've like drawn on the screen as I was going. Um, you can do that using the annotate feature if you want to, to do that as you go, um, but that's absolutely not required. Um, and it may, you may not want to distract your audience in that way. Um, but once you're, once you're finished with whatever you're sharing on the screen, um, you can hit stop share. That will bring the video back to you. And so you may want um, a few seconds with, with um, the, the meeting recording you to kind of wrap up, say thank you for attending, um, and, and do whatever you want to do to finish up with your presentation with the video completely on you. And then once you're completely ready to stop recording, um, I don't know why that just disappeared. Once you're completely ready to stop recording, you would hit the, um, the stop recording button down there. So I'm gonna stop the share now so that you come back to seeing me. Um, so, so that's just kind of a quick and dirty rundown of how to record a video of your, your Thinking Matters presentation using Zoom. Um, and I, like I said, I will uh, include all of those screenshots as a PDF along with this video um, so that you can go back in and see those steps again. Um, and it absolutely doesn't hurt anything to practice a couple times um, so that you make sure that you kind of have all of the controls down um, and kind of know exactly where to click when you want to, to share and stop and, and all of that. Um, so that I'm going to stop recording now and um, please feel free to reach out to the library with any questions that you might have.